Hello, beautiful people. It is a September garden tour. How time flies. So much changes in the allotment garden. And I'll be showing you around today. First up is our pumpkin. It is a huge pumpkin. It's beginning to ripen now. The color is changing. So the leaves are dying back. I think it might have powder medium, but it's all right. The, lead, the plant is big enough as just to ripen. That's what we're waiting for. And we still have a few rhubarbs there. But I think we're just gonna let that die back. And, and so the energy goes back to the crown. This is an apple tree. We still have a few apples. We've eaten so many apples from this tree. The apples never make it home. We pluck it here and eat it. Those are the dahlias I didn't get to plant. And the ground, I'll plant them next year. They're still good. These are the beetroot I planted a few days ago. They're looking good. They may look a bit sad now, but in a week or two, they'll all be standing. I could harvest this this year or just overwinter them and pick them as I need them. Is my favorite sunflower. It's a volunteer sunflower. That's why it's my favorite. Three, hey, four more flowers coming. The big one is drying up right now. So when it's completely dried, I'm going to harvest the sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds are delicious. These are strawberry runners. Uh, they've grown into their own plants. We are going to be selling these in our shop sometime soon. So if you're interested, leave a comment. If you want organic strawberry plants, we could get it to you. And these are flax seeds over there. They're drying up now. So when they're completely dried, we're going to get the flax seed from it. Behind them, we have our blueberries. Uh, they're almost ready to harvest, but they're not there yet. So we'll leave it a, uh, maybe a week or two more. There's some more over there too. Lots of blueberries. Let's move on. We have a coily leaf parsley over here. We bought a plant from the shop, so we chop off the leaf and I just planted it here and it's growing again. It's beautiful. I planted some corn here, but only this one came up, but I think it's a bit too late now, but we'll leave it and see what happens. Oh, those white butterflies. Those are the cabbage white butterflies. Oh, behind is our greenhouse, it's taking shape. Put some glass on it, but it should be done before we need it. I just need to find some time. There's our corn. It is growing. I planted them really late, so we just sort of cross our fingers and see and hope for the best with this one. We have some more here. They're growing really, really late, but we'll see how it goes. The courgette down here, this is ready to harvest. Well, I'll give you a couple more days. Some leeks that I planted a few days ago. Another courgette over there. Uh, if you want to know how to plant leeks the right way, check out my leeks, how to plant leeks video. Uh, this is my quinoa. They're starting to dry up now. And there's a bee. <laughs> This is my courgette I'm growing with a vertical method. Beautiful. You see the, the plant is just hanging off the ground. So the plant is beautiful. No damage at all. That's the advantage of growing it vertically. Uh, down there we have a helicoin squash that's ready to come out. But I usually leave the plant to die back before I invest my squashes. So that'll be a while before I invest those. Let me give you a close up on the quinoa. It's beginning to open. It is a beautiful thing. The beans are looking good. They're puffing up, but they're not ready yet. I think they need a couple more weeks. There's the Balotti beans. And this is the Greek gigantic. No, this is not the Greek gigantic beans. This is the butter beans. But it looks exactly like the Greek gigantic beans. It's very hard to tell the difference. Over here is the, run Over here is the runner beans. They look great. Well, they're not there yet. They're big, but they'll get slightly bigger a few more weeks. And over here is our butter bush. One squash on it. It is still tiny, but it will grow. Still some time for it to grow. We have some beetroots in there. They're ready to harvest if you want baby beetroots, but 
And one day the bigger pots, we have lots of beetroot in the house just now. We don't need beetroot just now. So we'll leave them till we need them. These are trusty peppermint plants. We've had so much peppermint from this and it's still growing stronger. This is one of my favorite plants. This was a black, this was a strawberry truck, but I'm gonna get rid of these strawberries because they are old now. I think they're like four, five years old now. So they're no good. I'm gonna get rid of it. We're already planting runners. Some of them, oh, that's a slug. Well, since slug is not, it's not a bad thing because in, in a healthy ecosystem like the garden is, it's important for a different variety of wildlife to be around. So I don't mind slugs and insects. It's good to see. And we have some more runners here. Another butter bush in here. And a very nice plant. Okay, I've asked this right now, but I like to leave the plant to die back, like I said before. Turning around, we have some more runner beans. They look good, but they're not there yet. They need a couple more weeks. And this is the first sunflower that bloomed, I think. It has dried up now. I'll let it dry up a little bit more. Then we'll invest the sunflower seeds. And I have some dahlias down here. This is, uh, uh, I think this is a Cafe Ole Dahlia. And this right here is my favorite. It looks beautiful. It's called the Mystery Fox. Uh, this one is not open yet, but it looks beautiful. If you want to see what it looks like, check out our Instagram page i'll leave a comment below so check it out there's lots of beautiful flowers there and beautiful pictures there's a bee how beautiful is that i always love seeing the bees this is just enjoying the mustachium flowers uh let's move along let him be we don't want to disturb him uh this is one of my favorite sunflower it's like a pom-pom sunflower it's so beautiful it's not fully open yet. When it's fully open, it's bigger than this and more beautiful. Down here is our purple TP beans. They're ready to vest. I just need to find time to do it. I'll do it. I'll do it uh, pretty soon. Over here is a Greek gigantis beans. It's uh, the first time I'm growing it. I'm growing it to save the seeds for next year because they're really big, and I've heard so many good things about it. So that's what we're doing. They look great. Yeah, yeah, they look good. And over here, this dried up plant is our peas. They've come and gone, so they're supposed to dry up. I don't want to take them off just now because I don't want to disturb the beans over here. So I'll leave them for now. More quinoa. And we have a courgette down there. And this is a courgette we grow in the bucket, just a sort of an experiment, and it's doing quite well. And there's our tiger knot over there, looking beautiful. We have a pumpkin here. The pumpkins are not so big, but we have like three pumpkins from just one plant. They're ripening off just now, so we always leave them for the leaves to die back. And over there is the Egyptian walking onions, and we have more over here. We have so much. We're going to be selling some in our, at our shop. So if you're interested, leave a comment and we'll get some to you. We have lots of sunflowers. And over there is a spaghetti squash. We have a few of them around this bed. And in there, I don't know if you can see it, is a heliquim squash. Maybe when I go around the other side, I'll show you better. We have some more quinoa. This is the first year I'm growing quinoa and they look great. And lots of sunflowers these ones have not opened yet this is the primary one the first one to open is come and gone now i'm just waiting for it to dry sunflower seeds are delicious if you haven't had it before you should try it some more spaghetti squash and we have more at the other side and some beetroots in between i really need to weed this bed there's celery gone to seed i'm waiting for it to dry up so i can save some of the seeds this is a sign of uh, radish. They're still young. In a few weeks, we should be start investing them. Another squash, spaghetti squash. We have two more down here. 
beautiful plant. We have some more beetroot over here because we eat a lot of beetroot. More beetroot. Another, a lot of, and another helicoim squash. And the beautiful sunflowers. <laughs> that is beautiful. We have another one here. This bumblebee has been here all morning. Same. I guess he's really hungry. It won't disturb him. Let him do his thing. Yeah, this is a helicoim squash I was talking about. Uh, we have two plants there. They're looking good. This one, I think this one is ready, but I'll leave it till the plant die back. And this is our spaghetti squash. This one, the the plant is already dying back, but it's not completely dead. So I'll leave it till the plant completely die back and dry off. Over here we have a cucumber plant. Yeah, it's just blending in with the squashes. Yeah, there it is. We've harvested so much cucumbers from this plant, so I'm going to plant a lot more next year. And next to it, we have a dwarf runner beans. <laughs> Lots of beans in them. I should harvest them soon. They climbed up this sunflower. It's a symbiotic relationship, I think that's what they call it. Turning around, we have some more dwarf beans in here. And if you haven't seen the Egyptian walking onions, you should look at our previous allotment tours. I've invested this. This is a new growth. These ones are the ones that will have the onions next year. Uh, let's go around back. We have some potatoes in these bags, but we just left them. It's a good way to store it. So when you bring it out of the ground, it's still fresh and it's still new potatoes. Our apple mint has been brilliant. It's just a year old plant. And this is our Jerusalem artichoke. I was hoping they were going to flower, but I think it's because they're in uh, tubs. They're not tall enough, not big enough to flower. But it's really important to grow them in tubs because if you grow them in ground, you can never get rid of them. Uh, should we take a peek down there, see if we have any artichoke yet? Why not? I'm curious. Oh, look at that. We have some artichokes. This is the first time I'm growing it. I know there'll be a lot more in there. Okay, I'll be I'll try to be patient. Oh, this is the autumn fruit and raspberries. Beautiful. There'll be a lot more in there. This is our brassica bed. There's a purple sprout sprouting broccoli. I think it's grown too big. I need to chop off some of the leaves just so this structure can accommodate it. These are our herbs, different types of herbs, silver thyme, mint, Greek oregano thyme, chives, rosemary, parsley, and this is our trusty woodland alpine strawberry, excuse me. And this is a strawberry runner from last year, still fruiting. It's not ripe enough. And we have some beetroot down there. I don't know if you can see it over there. A few in here. We have our brassicas. We have some. Oh, need to remove this netting so you can have a good view. Uh, these ones are not are not fully formed. These are red cabbages, but well, they're still small balls right now. But they will grow. We've harvested lots of plants from here. This is a. Uh, spring cabbage or Chinese cabbage, but I don't think we're gonna get any cabbage from it this year, but that's okay because the leaves and the cabbage are exactly the same thing. We use the leaves for cooking and it tastes delicious. And we have some kale at the other side and this right here, I just leave it because I like the look of it. It is a broccoli gone to seed, but I can't save any of the seed because when it was flowering, the kale and other plants were flowering and if there's cross pollination, I wouldn't get broccoli, I'll get something in between and uh, that's too much effort to get something that you're not going to eat. So I wouldn't plant any of those seeds. All right around, this is our parsnip that went to seed. We've saved the seed. You can check out our seed saving video if you want to see that. And there's still some carrots in here. Well, I'll leave those, let them bulk up a bit. These are radish that have gone to seed. 
Recently, I found out that radish pods, you could eat them. Back in the day, I think in the 16th century, people used to grow radish just for the pods. They let them go to seed and they eat the pods. They're really tasty. One of my favorite things now. I have a load of radish at the other side. I'm letting go to seed so I can eat the pods. These are red cactus dahlia. It has been prolific this year. So many flowers. We picked a lot and it just keeps coming. And there's another one behind it that is just about to come. I don't know. I'm not sure. I think this looks like a cafe au lait, but when it opens, we'll find out. And this is our canier. I think they have outgrown that pot. I need to repot them. And the cocoa yam is looking amazing, but too many suckers. I think maybe it is concentrating too much of leaf growth and there might not be any tubers down here. I think I have to turn it over and see what's down there. I think I would have to plant this on the ground and overwinter it, see what happens. Maybe we'll come back next year, maybe not. This is my volunteer friend Beans, is looking good. It's not ready to pick yet, but soon enough. And this is a Kala Lily. I thought this plant was dead, but it came back. Oh, it's gone to see another apple tree. Some nice apples in it. We're eating lots of the apples. They never get home. We just eat them here. This is a young plant. It's not fruiting yet. We give it a few years. This is our this is our kiwi plant, but I, it's not doing so well. It's been like two, three years. So I think I'm going to put them in the ground, put the, the kiwi in the ground and see how it does. I also grew a runner beans up here. So the runner beans grew up the chili plant and into this apple tree. That's one long runner beans. <laughs> Good. Our comfrey have bounced back. We've chopped them twice down for fertilizer and they bounce back again. This uh, It is a really nice plant to have in the allotment or garden. Is another apple tree. We've eaten most of the apple, but it still looks good. This is our other bed. I'm gonna weed this bed soon because I'm gonna be planting winter onions here. Some of the leeks are going to seed. The lettuces have gone to seed. I need to save some of the seeds. We have some new sowings over here. We are picking these right now. These are Celtis, they're called. They're really nice, they're one of my favorite. These are some plants we are propagating for our shop. This is the Tontin Dean Kale. Uh, I think it's called Kale for Life or something like that. But if you have this plant and it's fully grown, you never have to buy kale again. Simple as. This is one of our apple tree. Nice apples and it looks good. Uh, there's another apple tree over here. Have some nice apples there. I don't know if you can see. Uh, down here we have tro strawberry troughs. This is some of our strawberry that fruit year round. We're still having strawberry this late in September. I'll pick these with my daughter today. She loves the strawberries. And there's an interesting thing I saw the other time. I was uh, potting on runners and this runner right here was flowering and now it's fruiting. I'm curious to see if the fruits will ripen. In this bed over here, we have some tree spinach, which has overgrown this structure. Tree cabbage is growing up, and a palm kale, which is coming up. And over there, we have a scarlet Russian kale. It's looking good. Some parsnip down there. They're, they're not big enough yet to see. Let's just see. Uh, no, it's still very tiny, but there's a really big one on the other side. We have some papa sprouting broccoli, some cauliflower that are going to seed, and some cabernero kale. Down here, this plant is looking not so good. Is our peas uh, is done fruiting now, so the plant is dying back. We're gonna clear this place and plant some more brassicas in it. These are the radishes I was talking about. Uh, they're going to seed, but I like that. I'll let them go to seed so I can invest the radish pot. They are delicious. You should try them if you haven't tried them. This is our flower bed. We have some uh, guardiolas 
they're looking good beautiful flowers it's important to have flowers all year round and we try to do that and this is a beautiful plant i propagated this plant this year as a fig plant it's a little stick little cotton that was given to me by a friend and i propagated it and it's looking really handsome the flowers are looking good we have the white dahlia over here we've invested so much flowers from them and they look beautiful it's one of my favorite uh, the strawberries these ones are done right now so uh it's still next year before they fruit again i still have some gladiolis at the back moving on we have a cafe ole dahlia here just a little flower bud but it'll come flowers they're looking good our yarrow plant is gone now <laughs> well, it still looks really nice i think this would look good for dry flower arrangement i'm not an expert on flower arrangement so don't take my word for it here's our pear plant this pear is the nicest pear we have we've eaten so much pears from it i think there's still a few in the tree and these are fig plants looking good i hope it fruits next year there's our jerusalem artichoke we cut off no this is a globe artichoke excuse me we cut off one of the globes and ate it it's really nice next year it will fruit better and we have two more plants here and the coriander is going to seed that's all right we have a few more herbs and fox loves in this bed this is just a stock, lots of potatoes down there, but we have best demos who need them. New potatoes are best. And that tower over there is the Tontin Din Kills. I've grown the tower, so I need to figure out what to do with that. And this here is a greenhouse that I salvaged. I'm growing a really special plant next year. I will share that with you on a later date. It is, it is, I'm really excited. I'm really excited about it. And I'll bring you along as always with everything that goes on in this garden allotment. And that's all we have today. Garden is looking beautiful. Lots of flowers, lots of colors, lots of plants growing, lots to our vest. It is a beautiful thing. And as always, whatever you have planned today, I hope it goes well. Have a brilliant day, people. God bless.